So I'm going through all this electrical and I got some stuff here. And I'm just trying to salvage the most that I can from the existing old grunge grunge city camper to see, you know, mounting, you know, just getting this new electrical. And I'm talking 120 electrical, AC electrical right now. So this was the exterior receptacle box that was mounted on the old camper. And then this was the location. So I marked that as an estimate. So that gets mounted there. Well, these screws get screwed into just that Luan paneling. Well, this is in the back side. I gotta put a little backer board back there so these screws got something to bite into. So we're gonna install that now. Now we're just gonna keep on going. Got the first receptacle box mounted. This is the old box out of the old camper. It's plastic, so that's nice. It won't conduct electricity. And it's the right depth so that it won't stick out when you put the aluminum on it. the stage here where we got the Romex 12-2 uh, wire that I'm feeding through the uh, where the the um, electrical panel is and I'm feeding it through right here which is the wire chase that I have so this is just all the electrical and a lot of the electrical that goes up into the ceiling or the roof we're feeding wires so that we can wire up this box right here so I gotta go all the way up and around and come back down. Got the wiring coming out of that top of where the wire chase is into the ceiling. Comes down. I drilled a couple holes here and it drops down and goes into the electrical box. So then there it is coming out of the electrical box. And then there's some other lines I gotta run. I'm not gonna go into detail on how I wired it. I'm just gonna show how I did it. This is not a how-to on this one. This is just how I did it. Then this is gonna come down. This is another receptacle, and then out of this is gonna be another one that drops down. Got that wiring coming out of that receptacle on the back wall. Going down and around, and then that other out exterior receptacle is going to be right there. We have the AC electrical done um, in the whole camper, and a rundown. It's taken so long, so I, I'm just going to recap everything. So there's a, there's a lot. It's a rundown, huh? I need to write a freaking outline. So the electrical power either gets powered through the short power or gets through the inverter through the batteries so starts at the output of the inverter and goes into the main panel the power comes in from the inverter into the main panel and then it goes through a main breaker which um yeah it's 10 amps i know that and then it goes into a tandem breaker which is two 20 amp breakers and i can swap this one out for a 30 amp service because that's the most that uh the the electrical system can handle so i'm not going to go through the specifics on how i wired it but the point is i got two circuits and they're 20 amp circuits and then we'll go from there so the first circuit starts out here it goes through goes up um through the walls you can't really see it so the first circuit starts and feeds this receptacle which is specifically for the fridge the, the obviously the AC electrical portion of the fridge which is 120 volts and then we're gonna go back in continuation of the same circuit there is a GFCI receptacle there which is for the AC 
um, heater on the water heater. And that's the end of that circuit because that pulls about 1200 watts. The second circuit is um, comes out here, goes through this wire chase, goes up into the ceiling, and then it shoots all the way across. And it goes to this quad receptacle box here, which um, I have a GFCI receptacle. Every receptacle on this circuit is protected by this GFCI receptacle. So these two are on the same circuit, obviously. And then I also have um, off of that, I came up with another line, which I don't think we'll ever use it, but just in case I have a line here, just saved off in case we ever do put a traditional RV air conditioner in, in this camper. So then it goes back up and continues over. The other receptacle, which is obviously for the air conditioner that we have, the wall unit. And then after that, well, you get to see the back side over here. And then there's the exterior receptacle, which we have to put a waterproof box on after we finish all the aluminum. And obviously mount it after we get the, once we, we're using the same piece of aluminum and it has the hole cut out exactly. So I'm gonna mount it once I know exactly where it needs to be. So that's why it's just hanging there. But they all work and that's the main thing. So now the inverter's on and all receptacles are live. You can see the GFCI lights lit up. So that means we're golden, at least that one. Let's see what we got. There it is. Air conditioner running on inverter on high and it's running it and it's cool because literally it's cool.